Hi there everyone, this is Dave with Learning Media Arabic and today I've got a short clip from a children's television show called Timur. I was on for two seasons and in this season the main character Timur is a young guy who goes around looking for jobs and he tends to get fired on his first day. Um, so on this episode he shows up at a park um, with a lot of extra equipment that he doesn't need and his boss is going to tell him um, all he really needs to do for his job. So let's listen and watch. كل ما نحتاجه صافرة لتنبيه الزوار وصوت قوي عال لإخافة الأولاد الذين يعبثون بالأزهار ويتسلقون الأشجار صافرتك معك نعم يا سيدي انطلق من هنا يا تيمور وإذا ما وجهتك مشكلة ما عليك إلا أن تستعمل الصافرة صفرة واحدة للتنبيه صفرتان للتحذير ثلاث صفرات الاستدعاء الفوري أما يا تيمور الصفرة الطويلة فتعني أن المشكلة قد حلت وإذا ما وجهتني مشكلة أنا أيضا سأستعمل نفس الطريقة وسأصفر لك فهمت مفهوم يا سيدي انطلق تيمور من هنا يا تيمور all right so uh, let's go through some of these words here go over what's being said so he starts off and he says all that we need is a whistle and you can say نحتاجه all we all that we need it if you're translating literally but we would just say, all that you need, all that we need, is a whistle to alert the visitors. And a high, strong voice, or a very strong voice, to frighten or scare uh, the children. Um, we'll get to why in a second. But uh, here, this is a verbal noun. Yichafa. Uh, there's also... Um, um, this is a, not a non-standard verbal noun. It is it's used often, but it's not what you might think because khawafa uh, measure two is what the um, the verb usually is um, to scare someone. So having this and not looking like tahwif um, might confuse you. So I'm just showing you that this is a, a different form of verbal noun. Okay, so you have a strong voice to scare the children that are playing around in... Uh, the flowers and are climbing the trees and he asks Timur is your whistle with you? do you have your whistle? and Timur of course says yes sir he says so go this way set off start going this way Minhuna, or start right now and yeah Timur and Here's I'm going to translate this uh, colloquially first. Um, if you come across a problem, all you need to do is use the whistle. Now, literally, it's saying it's conditional, so this verb is going to be in the uh, perfect tense. Even though we're not talking about the past, your this uh, verb is going to be in the perfect tense. So, idama wajahetuka. It's kind of like saying if what comes across you or if what faces you is a problem what it's on, what is on you to do what you have to do is only to use the whistle notice it's very clunky to say it like that I was trying to do it as literal as possible but um, these structures these two are very common idama and then that's just like saying if um, and then wajahetka mushkila is kind of um, it's not that standard but it, it I mean it works it's definitely Arabic for sure um, but it's like if you come across if, if what faces you is a problem problems face you problems come up in, in, in your face essentially so that's how I remember that Ma'alaika uh, illa and that's a very useful set phrase to say and all you have to say is you can even say Kulu ma'alaika illa and all that you have to do but you just use what you have to do is only 
uh, to use the whistle. And then he describes how to use it. One whistle, safaratun wahida, li tanbih, to alert. Here he uses the dual. Two whistles, safaratan, li tahbir, to warn. And three whistles to immediately summon. And it's implied to summon him to come get help. So it's immediate is the adjective. And al is to summon or to call someone to you. And then he gives another um, instruction here. He says, it's kind of like if, but he's saying, as for Timur, a long, or the long whistle, a long whistle, that means that the problem has been solved. And this is passive, hullet. Uh, notice it agrees with the mushkila. So the, the problem has been solved. And so if there's a long whistle, the problem has been solved. That means ta'ani. And he describes himself. He says, if I get faced with a problem, I also will use the same method or the same way, and I will, let me just, it's measure two, I will whistle for you. For him, uh, you understand, and it's a very, you're not saying that, um, it's not particularly polite, it's more like, I think we always say, understand now, you know, like, do you get it? It might be kind of rude. So, uh, um, and Timur says, Mafum, it's understood. It's a uh, passive participle. It's, it's what's been understood. Mafum, yes, I yes. Understood, sir. He says, Go ahead, go set off, go ahead. And then, he, of course, Timur goes the wrong way, so he goes this way, Timur. All right, so um, hopefully that was, I got a little uh, bit of discourse in there. Um, instruction, giving instructions, saying what you should do, what you shouldn't, you know, what you need. Um, and I definitely recommend finding these children's shows and, and watching them to get that uh, discourse down. Because while it's not used, you know, standard Arabic or, or what I'm calling media Arabic is not used um, very often at all in social situations, um, on television shows and uh, as a cultural um as a way to, to get to know the culture uh, of Arabic, it's very useful. So uh, hopefully this was useful, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.